Michigan recruiting is on fire. The Wolverines have landed two key prospects for their 2024 recruiting class in the past two days, counting today. Michigan's 2024 class is now third overall with nine hard commits, six of them being four stars, three of them being three stars. And Michigan is threatening for several highly ranked players, the most notable being five-star quarterback Jaden Davis, who visited Michigan this past weekend. Michigan landed a commit last night from highly ranked four-star running back Jordan Marshall. Jordan Marshall is 5'10 in height, 193 pounds in weight. He's the 91st best player according to 24-7 Sports Composite, the 176th best player according to 24-7 Sports, no other factors included. He is from Archbishop Moeller from Cincinnati, Ohio, and Ohio State was recruiting him. He was a big in-state prospect for the Buckeyes coming out of Ohio. And Mike Hart and Steve Klinkscale, who were listed as his main recruiters, according to 24-7 Sports, out-recruited Tony Alford and Brian Hartline. And I say this with no disrespect to Tony Alford or Brian Hartline. They are some of the best recruiters in the country. And Mike Hart and Tony Alford, over the past several seasons, have been some of the best running back coaches in the country. He had multiple good choices. He was also recruited by Tennessee and Jerry Mack over there. He had official visits in the summer to Wisconsin June 2nd, Michigan June 9th, Tennessee June 16th, and Ohio State June 23rd. He committed to Michigan just yesterday. And we'll get back to him in an article by ESPN. Michigan Today landed Ben Roebuck out of St. Edward, Lakewood, Ohio. Roebuck is an offensive tackle who measures at 6'7 in height, 320 pounds in weight. He is the 455th best recruit, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, recruited by Sharon Moore and Steve Klinkscale, recently offered by Vanderbilt, Ole Miss, and Iowa State. And 15th best player in Ohio, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, 12th best player in Ohio, according to 24-7 Sports, no other factors included. For Jordan Marshall, it's fifth best if you only look at 24-7 sports. If you factor in the composite, he is the third best player in the state of Ohio. Before we get to that article, I want to talk about Michigan in Ohio recruiting. Michigan has a crystal ball for Brian Robinson, an edge out of Ohio, who is the fourth best player in Ohio, according to the composite. They also have a crystal ball in favor. They don't have a crystal ball, but they're listed as warm for Bryce West, who's ranked as the best player in Ohio, a cornerback who's a top 50 player. He's listed as warm for Penn State, Ohio State, Michigan State, and Michigan. So Michigan is doing its due diligence. It's doing a good job in recruiting players from the state of Ohio for the 2024 cycle so far, and so it seems. And as a Michigan fan and as someone who... You know, this might even frustrate some of you Michigan fans or Big Ten fans. I have a confessed affinity for Ohio State. They have been the best of the best my entire lifetime when it comes to Big Ten football. They're modern. They're fast. They develop NFL talent. They, they, they just, they are the standard. They are the standard. And Ohio, Michigan has typically done well on the field when off the field, they land prospects from the state of Ohio, who always has good high school prospects, and more often than not, they do also have some elite prospects that come out of there. The further south you can recruit, the better, and Ohio is one of those states in Big Ten country that is able to produce big-time high school prospects. So as a Michigan fan, it's cool. It is really cool to see the University of Michigan recruiting players from the state of Ohio. Like guys who aren't at the bottom of the barrel in Ohio, but recruiting guys who are some of the better players in the state of Ohio and competing with Ohio State in the recruiting department 
there. Very encouraging as a Michigan fan. I'm going to read an article by Tom Van Haren. I'm going to link it down below. He writes that Michigan tapped into the state of Ohio on the recruiting trail and got a commitment from ESPN 300 running back Jordan Marshall on Tuesday. Marshall is the 198th prospect overall. This is according to ESPN, not according to 24-7 Sports, and the number nine recruit in the state of Ohio. He was a big target for in-state Ohio State, and the Wolverines were able to beat out the Buckeyes for one of the best running backs in the class. Marshall is 5'11", 195 pounds, out of Moeller High School in Cincinnati. He is the third commitment for the Wolverines from the state of Ohio, now the fourth, obviously. When this article was written, he committed alongside ESPN 300 offensive tackle Luke Hamilton and defensive tackle Ted Hammond. It was only a few years back that Jim Harbaugh was fielding questions about why he wasn't targeting more recruits from the state of Ohio and why the Buckeye State wasn't a priority for the team. Harbaugh signed four recruits out of Ohio in 2023, though most of them were lower ranked, and Ohio State did not target a lot of the players that Michigan signed in that class. After signing nine prospects from the state in the seven recruiting classes from 2016 to 2022. So Michigan last year, Started out a little slow in Ohio, but they decided they wanted to target it more than previous years. Now Marshall's commitment is an important one for the Wolverines, given that they now have four, thanks to Ben Roebuck, in this class from the state of Ohio. And it's only going to get, I, I think there are going to be more commits, potentially, from the state of Ohio in this class. And Michigan, historically, has done well when they're able to get great players from the state of Ohio. And Ohio State fans know this. Think of Desmond Howard and Charles Woodson. I'm 95% confident both of them were from the state of Ohio. They both won Heismans at Michigan. That's just one example. Michigan has beaten Ohio State the past two seasons on the field. Now Harbaugh has gone into Ohio and taken one of the top offensive prospects in the 2024 class in Marshall. Michigan is number third or third overall in 2024 recruiting. They have an average recruit rank of 90.58, which is pretty low compared to the rest of the top 10. Only Wake Forest is lower than them. LSU is pretty darn close to Michigan, though. But I anticipate that Michigan is probably going to land, I'd say, with how NIL is taking strides. And just from Michigan's reputation of winning, plus after the NFL draft, I do think Michigan will land a five-star, hopefully two, this recruiting cycle. And hopefully they can land a lot more than two five-stars, but I'm not going to believe that Michigan's going to recruit at the level Ohio State has until I see it, though this seems to be a more likely possibility with how some things are going. Ohio State's recruiting class by comparison is 15th, but they have five fewer commits and their average recruit rank is a 94 Point three, so still substantially higher than Michigan's. They got Jeremiah Smith, who is the number one wide receiver, number one player in Florida. He's only behind former Ohio State commit Dylan Riola, who's number one. He's the number two overall player, according to 24-7 Sports. They have Ian Moore, who's the number two player from Indiana. He's a top 100 interior offensive lineman. They have Garrett Stover, a top 150 player who's a highly ranked five-star not five-star, four-star as well, from Sunbury, Ohio, fifth best player there. And they have Mark Knave, who is a three-star interior offensive lineman, 6'5", 315 pounds, definitely has a lot of size potential there, 18th best player in Ohio. So, look, Michigan's recruiting well in the state of Ohio. It's pretty obvious. Michigan recruiting is absolutely, it's on fire right now. And this is coming from a Michigan fan, I know, but Michigan recruiting in comparison to this has been pretty dead for the past two seasons. It has been pretty dead. It's been dead compared to Ohio State recruiting. Honestly, you know, Ohio State, this is more than two years ago, but in 2021, they have that amazing recruiting class. 2022 and 2023, they still finish with top five classes, though they did miss out on some prospects they wanted, but still top five. That means you have a lot of potential to win the national title basically every year if you sign consistent top five classes. Michigan, meanwhile, has struggled to get inside of even the top 15 the past two seasons. Now Michigan, 
They're coming after Dylan Stewart and Edge from Friendship Collegiate Academy. They're targeting him. They're targeting Jaden Davis. They're targeting, those are two five stars, but they're targeting highly ranked four stars Bryce West and Aaron Scott, who are corners. They're listed as warm for two safeties, Jordan Johnson Rubel and Ricardo Jones, who are highly ranked four stars. Michigan recruiting is doing well, and I love to see it. And it would be awesome to see, like in the, the Brady Hoke Urban Meyer days, Brady Hoke was a phenomenal recruiter, brought in constant top 10 classes. It would be amazing to see that again, where Michigan and Ohio State are both recruiting at a top five level, constantly competing for prospects. And there isn't just a war on the field that's relatively equal, you know, back and forth. There isn't just that war, but there's also a war off the field. That's pretty back and forth between some of the most highly ranked prospects in the nation. Michigan right now is the number one recruiting class in the Big Ten for 2024. They had a relatively strong finish for their 2023 recruiting class, despite starting out rather weak. They're currently ahead of notable teams like Penn State, Michigan State, Ohio State, teams that have recruited modestly well over the past few cycles in comparison to Michigan. And just Last year, there was an argument made that all three of those schools out-recruited Michigan in one way or another. That's all I'm going to say for this video. Just wanted to provide an update. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm trying to recover, recru um, not recover, but I'm trying to cover recruiting more. It's going to be something that I, especially with summer visits and all that stuff, when official visits roll around, I'm going to cover often trying to do it in 10 to 15 minute videos. Occasionally, though, I would like to do a full breakdown, talk about different recruiting classes and some different highly ranked prospects. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys soon. And make sure to subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. Have a nice day, guys.